It's just one of many skills required to be a good lifeguard. Speed, endurance, and of course the ability to stay afloat in rough seas. The Australians are widely recognized as the best on the physical side. Around it! But when it comes to first aid, actual life-saving skills, Vancouver's lifeguards come out on top. A lot of work to be a lifeguard in Australia as well. They have to be very fit. Up here, they, we don't have to be as fit, but we do have to be much more qualified in first aid and CPR. They're more technical, I think, here. We just, we're in, I think, more for the competition than the first aid side of it. And here, they're really into the first aid part, yeah. Australian lifeguards compete in relays like this one all the time. That competition gives them exposure, and that exposure prompts more and more people to sign up. About, how long was it, three minutes? Oh, I just, I more people involved in general. Over there, um, even though the life-saving part of it is large, the competition side of it is very much to the forefront, and we're, that's why the Australians have the strength that they have had for a number of years because the competitive side of it is so big. In Australia, lifeguards only need a basic understanding of life-saving skills, unlike Canadian lifeguards who must be certified in first aid. So it's not seen as a sport here, more as a medical precaution. But when it comes to physical competition, anyone in Canada soon could be allowed to take part. We would like to move towards that um, so that people could come down and do a run, swim, run. Um, anybody could do it. Anybody could do it. The Royal Life Saving Society of Canada hopes to get more people involved in physical competition by staging more events like this one, making the sports side of life saving more visible and more exciting. Chris Edwards, CBC News, Vancouver.